Controversial decision. A mother in Phoenix, Illinois, taking advantage of a safe haven location and dropping off her twins at the local fire station. The problem? The twins are much older than the safe haven law allows. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov is live at the fire station with more. Dana. Erica, it was an emotional morning for everybody involved, and firefighters here say they never expected anyone would drop off a baby, much less two of them, at the fire department. But this morning, that's exactly what happened. She said that, you know, this is the this is the kids, and I cannot do it any longer, and walked off. And these are the twin boys that young mother left behind at 1:30 a.m. at the Phoenix Fire Station, a safe haven site where mothers can turn over their babies. Then looked at her and was, you know, asked her, was, "Are you sure that you want to drop the kids off?" She then stated yes, and me and my partner pretty much took the kids in. So she had planned this. Yes. And you could tell by how. Just how organized she was. She was in tears. Uh, said just, just crying. Captain Spencer Sharp and firefighter Thomas Schwenkel were on duty at the time. They say the twins' mother also came prepared. The clothes were in the bags. She had all the diapers accordingly. Um, she had the social security cards for both of them. Um, she told us which one was allergic to certain items. So this is a great example of a program working the way that it's supposed to work. But the Illinois Safe Haven Law allows babies 30 days or younger to be dropped off. These babies are much older, leaving questions about whether criminal charges could follow. I do believe the mother made the best decision for her as well as the children. So I hope that there's no uh, criminal consequences coming from this decision that she made because there's a lot worse decisions that could have been made. Tonight, a spokesperson for the Cook County State's Attorney's Office told me that they have no information on this case. I was unable to reach Phoenix Police Chief for comment. We are live in South Suburban Phoenix. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica, Rob? Oh, okay, Dana, thank you.